Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and if you're like me, you like carrying knives on you that are larger, um, either for utilitarian or for uh, you know, self-defense purposes. Um, having a larger blade allows you to have more capabilities, and having a, a smaller knife, such as you know one of these uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knives. Um, having these on your keychain is great in, in a pinch, right? Um, now, I will also say that having a medium-sized pocket knife on you, at least when you're walking around the house or even your your day-to-day -day life, is good because sometimes uh, we tend to not like to carry heavy items in our pockets all the time. So, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, do you use medium-sized knives more than larger size knives? If so, why? Um, but I'm going to go through all of these uh, 10 pocket knives and leaving links for all of them on uh, where you can find them on Amazon in the description box down below. And if you guys use those links, it does help support the channel. I can buy more knives and uh, everyday carry and outdoor gear for y'all. Um, so let's move on to um, these different knives. This is the Dragonfly 2 from Spyderco. Um, I'll be annotating um, specs in uh, down below, but I'll be talking about how I feel about each knife as I go along. So uh, moving along, as you can see, uh, we, we have a very uh, interesting designed knife. So if you're not used to seeing these types of knives, you're, you're more used to seeing maybe the classic uh, knives. Um, I'm going to be introducing you to something called the Spidey Hole. So what that does is it also, in addition to being able to uh, use this to open and close the knife, um, it also lightens the, the, the knife because you've taken away the, that steel, right? It doesn't affect the performance or anything like that. Um, but in this case, because it's a backlock design, it also makes it ambidextrous as well. Just got to move that pocket clip over. Uh, very lightweight. Uh, all of these knives are, but this one more so than uh, than, than most. Um, and the, because of the ergonomics on this, um, you can you know choke up, choke down, and uh, use that angle for either a harder cutting tasks or finer detail. I uh, love this knife. This is uh, uh, one of the knives I carry on me, especially when just kind of walking around the house. You know, I got uh, you know basketball shorts on or whatnot. Um, another knife that. I tend to carry often um, or having a, like a, a gear bag or attached to my keychain is the uh, Cadet Alox. And this is uh, from Victorinox, just like the other Swiss Army knives are. Um, but this is going to offer a larger pen knife. Um, and we also have other similar functions that you find on, uh, on that classic uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife. However, it doesn't have uh, these little items like the tweezers and the toothpick. So you're losing that a little bit, but you're gaining uh, more versatility. Moving on to uh, one of the most popular knives in the knife community. Uh, this is the 940 from Benchmade. So Benchmade, if you guys aren't aware, they have these access locks on most of their knives. And uh, what makes them great is not only is their, the deployment of this knife really easy, uh, but closing the blade is also uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, if I'm not going to lie, you can open it and close it uh, with the access lock. Also, kids don't play with knives. I think it's good to, uh, to always say that in my videos or annotate it. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be uh, one of uh, one of the best performing knives as well. This this blade can process pretty much anything. So don't underestimate just because this is a smaller, lighter weight. Um, this is, has a carbon fiber handle, but uh, yeah, don't underestimate any of these knives, especially this one. But awesome little knife from Benchmade. Uh, so similar to the, the Dragonfly 2, this is the Teleka 4, and this is uh, one of the most popular, if not the most popular, uh, knife on the table. And uh, once again, you're going to have those spidey holes, uh, backlock design, uh, similar handle, uh, but because it has a longer blade shape and a different profile, um, I, I tend to find myself carrying this um, even outside of the house or in gear bags, you know, because it's just so, it's so lightweight. This is a very, very capable uh, knife. And you don't even, you know, a lot of these knives, you don't even realize that you're using a knife, you're just focused on the task, which is exactly what you want. Another knife that's an excellent performer is the, this Alamar knife. I just received it. Um, for you guys, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, 
um, with the handle at budget bug out you guys can see when I get knives in the mail I just uh, so I posted recently about this knife um, it's extremely lightweight it's probably one of the most lightweight knives on the table even though uh, the blade is over three inches um, also an excellent excellent performer um, I'll be doing a re review or a comparison of how this knife does with the new Kershaw collaboration uh, that, that just came out, same blade length and everything. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. I'll be leaving links for, like I said, all these in the description box below as well. But uh, excellent back lock design, you can ambidextrous. Um, so for those of you who are left-handed, a lot of these knives that I've shown you so far are going to be, uh, they're gonna work for you. Um, this one, however, is going to be a little bit of frame lock, so it might be a little bit more difficult for those of you who are used to using your, uh, your left hand. But, um, excellent kind of a stubby little knife. It kind of reminds me of a, uh, of a bulldog because it's small and, uh, but, but very sturdy and you it can, uh, you can do a lot of damage. <laughs> um, but this knife is very, very budget friendly. So you're going to, there's a lot of uh, different knives, different prices on the, on, on the table. This one's $18. Um, it's kind of hard to beat that. So if you're just looking for, for a knife that has a slim profile, uh, that can do the job well, um, I, would, I would recommend that one. A knife that's going to be uh, a little bit more expensive, at least this variant of it, um, uh, is this Benchmade Griptilian. And actually, the, uh, the other Benchmade is more expensive. But uh, this knife uh, uh, has just a great, great ergonomics. And it fills the hands, fills, fills the palms, even though it is uh, smaller. So if you want a knife that uh, um, it feels like it's a part of you, um, but it doesn't take up a lot of pocket space, I would definitely uh, choose the the Griptilian. And you're going to have all the same benefits as you would with uh, with most uh, Benchmade knives. So, love this little guy. This is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. I don't know if I said Mini before. This is a knife. This is the Kershaw Leak. Um, this is a knife that I see uh, some of my friends as well. My father-in-law owns this knife. And really, they don't carry any other knife other than these, uh, other than this knife. Uh, maybe a Swiss Army knife. You keep this in your pocket. Very slim profile. You know, it's lightweight and everything too, but just because of the size. Um, and, and also for those of you who are, are afraid of uh, a knife opening in your pocket, but you, uh, you know, it has a little safety. But yeah, it, it shoots right open with that uh, that torsion bar. It makes, it's known as a spring assist. It's not an automatic knife. Uh, it's a spring assist knife for those of you who are concerned about laws um, in your area. But just an excellent a little blade. Um, and uh, really, if you just want to put something in the fifth pocket of your jeans, I mean, that's kind of hard to, uh, to go wrong with that little guy. Uh, a knife that's also very budget friendly. It's ranges between $20 and $30. Um, this is the probably the most popular budget knife um, on the market today. And that's the Ontario Rat. This is the Rat Model 2, which is the, uh, like I said, the smaller knife of, of the two. Um, I own both of them, but I, I find myself carrying this more often, uh, just like I do most of these knives, because it's lightweight, um, but still very, very capable. Um, and the, the, the blade on this, OS 8, and some of the other knives have, have it as well. It's very easy to sharpen on the go. So, a great little knife, um, very ergonomic, grippy handles and everything. That's the uh, Ontario Rat 2. The last knife on the table is the Boker Subcom Plus. Um, the same steel. This has a frame lock, and this little guy. Um, this can do a lot of uh, uh, different tasks because of that 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 belly it has on it. Um, plus, I, I don't know, just the ergonomics on this knife, uh, and and the size of it and the shape of it. Um, I, I find myself reaching for this knife uh, whenever it's uh, whenever it's around, and I need to get. Um, a special job done where, where it requires slicing. Sometimes you need to, I don't know, just slice uh, a sticker off of cardboard or, or whatnot. I mean, just the, the, just random tasks like that, uh, this knife comes in uh, to play a lot. Um, I do wish that it had uh, not as much jumping on every side. That way it's not rubbing against your hand as you're fetching your keys out of your pocket. But um, if you guys can uh, handle a little bit of annoyance, uh, then I, I would recommend uh, this little guy right here from uh, Boker. But anyways, guys, uh, those are uh, the top 10 recommendations uh, that I have if you're looking for just a medium-sized pocket knife that uh, you're going to carry often because, you know, it's, it's great to have large knives uh, for the capabilities I mentioned earlier, but if you're 
but if it's too heavy to comfortably carry everywhere you go, then, you know, sometimes you won't have it when you need it the most. And if you're like me, I like feeling like Batman, even around the house, you know, and my wife says, hey, can you open this for me? Um, you know, using your teeth is actually very bad uh, for for your teeth. So uh, having having a knife on you uh, is just it has a multitude of different uh, uh, different purposes that it can serve. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, what your favorite knife is, uh, whether it be large, medium, or small. And be sure to check out those links I'm leaving uh, for where you can find this on Amazon. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays if you're prepared. God bless.